so I think I'm just gonna do two braids because I don't want to do anything like big or anything because she's gonna have to get her hair redone for her birthday and her, her birthday birthday pictures so I'm just gonna do like two braids but I really just want to show y'all the necklace because I don't no, I shared them jewelry because I had some new ones. So I want to show y'all the old. It holds up very well because I got no kids. It was rough with um jewelry. So let me show y'all. So this is the earring. Um, I think we had these for about a year, maybe longer. Can't remember. And then the necklace she has on is also one. And we had this for. Hang on. So the necklace she has on, we had that for a year as well. And they hold up very well. Very good jewelry, for, especially for kids who are hard on jewelry. I also have a pair of earrings in my ear that I've had in my ear for a while. Like, I'll change it out, but mostly I wear these because they don't turn green or whatever. So they don't, I like this jewelry because they don't turn green. But let me show you how the other ones I got. That's why I want to tell you about how they hold up, but they hold up very well. So I got these, just so y'all know which jewelry I'm talking about my camera look how cute those are so I got these and these are like huggy earrings because that's the type of earrings I like to wear and then the, I put them in the girls ear as well I got this necklace look how cute that is so pretty show y'all how well that the jewelry does hold up and this is the kids jewelry that they've been wearing and it's hold up, held up very well they're very rough when it comes to jewelry but these earrings and this necklace we've had for a while and we also have more um i couldn't get it out right now but i'll show y'all that in an, uh, another video but we have a lot of jewelry for them and it's all still looks like they just got it but yeah okay y'all lied i'm not gonna do two braids because i just thought about it i'm gonna have to flick it up a lot with gel and edge control and i don't want that so what i think i'm gonna do is four sections and i'm gonna put two braids in each section section so that will be eight braids okay y'all so I cleaned it up oh and I want this is a product that I've been using lately to clean their parts this is not edge control it's actually braid gel exactly for braid lock and twist I got this off Amazon this is a 16 ounce I got it for um, 12 well, you just say $13. And then sometimes I buy the 8 ounce, which I get for like $7. I really like this because it's affordable and it works and it's great. And no, this isn't promoted. This is just something that I buy. This is what I've been loving lately. I bought two big things of this. Oh, and it's, um, that's the name. I'm pretty sure I don't want to, you know, make the name wrong. So, but that's the name. It's on Amazon. Just search it and you'll get it. Oh, you have to be careful though because they have an edge control too. But this one is the braid gel. So for this next section, I'm just gonna part it straight across. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video. If I do, I'm not gonna make it slow. Let me know if y'all like long videos, because I really don't like, you know, speeding up my videos. I really kind of like long videos. If y'all don't, I feel like if people don't want to watch the whole entire video, they can just fast forward. But these are my clips. I keep them in this little container. So I'm gonna get one of these out. I should say a couple of these. Okay, so I'm gonna just clip this off this section because I'm not worried about this section at the moment. I'm gonna do one section on here for y'all. And then the next section I'm just gonna do off camera because we're just gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side. And she has a mask on because she's been coughing. And I'm not trying to get sick. For those who want to know. Okay, so as y'all can see, there's like a half part here. Like it goes zigzag. I like to use this part as my guideline for the next four. This is just the easy style to do when you don't feel like doing hair. And I really don't feel like doing hair because I already had did. I have already did three heads and I'm just tired. Diva's gonna just have to rock a puff because she decided to take her hair down and let it mat up and I'm just not gonna deal with that. So she wanna be so mature and do her 
take her hair down and stuff, but she never wants to do it. She never wants to comb it out, and she's very tender-headed, and it takes me so long, so I just, I'm not in the mood to do that after doing so much hair already. Because I told her to leave it up, because I was going to, you know, do something, and it would have been easier for me to detangle, but she decided to be her little 14-year-old self, because, she, you know, she's grown in her eyes, and take it down, but she don't want to do it, so... She's going to suffer the consequences of her own actions and figure out either let me put it in a puff or figure out what she's going to do with her hair for tomorrow. And that's just that. Okay, so this is our section. I'm not going to zigzag, zigzag these. I just want them straight. I don't like to be on their phones when I'm doing their hair because they act like they don't know how to hold their head and stuff when I'm doing it. They want to have the phone in their lap which ain't helping me at all. Okay. Okay. I want the front, the back sections bigger than the front section. And then we're just gonna connect this part with this part. Diva's not here. She's over at her aunt house cleaning up chitlins. So that's why it's so quiet. Cause she's the one who brings all the noise. Okay. I'm gonna use a little gel because it's not gonna make it too dirty to hold everything in place along with this braid gel. So that's our first section. And like I said, keep going. I'm going to um, turn this right. Okay, so I'm gonna be using um, my butter, of course. Um, this is in stock. I don't do this white butter as much. And my grease because they cost so much to make so I do them bi-monthly um, it is in stock for November and then um, I'm using this gel this gel is so great y'all like you need something to lay the hair down first because this is not gonna lay it right away or you can put a scarf over it but it will literally have your hair lasting for days and I need this to last for a couple of days blow this out a little bit because it's kind of I'm just going to take a little bit of butter because I don't want too much of this because I want the gel to lay it down. I know some people said I get my um, butter are white and it's hard. This butter tends to set up with the temperature. So if it's cold, it's going to be hard. If it's um, like, like it's warm, like the heat on is here, you can see it's very soft. So if you want it soft, you can just pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes or you can just rub it in your hand. It's going to rub right in. I just want a little bit, but I want to make sure her hair is moisturized and not dry. Like I said, I'm going to take some of this braid gel first because it is what's going to lay, lay it down. But this gel does not hold like I want, like it, like her hair, it, I need something to hold it, hold it, hold it. But it, this does hold the hair. It makes your braids last a long time. But for stuff like this, I like to add a little gel. Just a little. I need one more thing because I need a brush. I thought I had it in here.
illusion I was your substitution for your lonely bed Especially when it get her edges. I've been doing low manipulation styles. Like I do a style, leave her edges out because her edges just they just break off so easily. So I try to do styles that I know I can leave her edges out, which I don't want to do crochet because her hair her hairline does not like crochet, but she wants crochet. So. By the time I get done ready to do her hair again, just edge control and gel would have been done, you know, where it wore off. So, her hair is not going to be that dirty when I get ready to braid it. And if it is, I'll just, you know, rewash, re-wash it. It wouldn't be as part of this section. And she has a very meaty head, so I got to watch how tight I do her hair. Even though it don't be tight, you can still see like a hump or something in it because her head, her scalp is very meaty. I'll try to leave these out because there's no use to slicking them in. Add some gel. And I'm just going to do one braid. I'm actually going to do one section of me braiding on camera because it's just a repetitive style. You don't need to see me keep doing it over and over. Once you see the first section, you can do the second section. Or all the other sections, I should say. So that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings in my heart. Oh, Look up with it. Yeah, that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings in my heart. So these are two sections. This part could have been a little bit neater, but like I said, it's okay. It's just for a few days. So I'm gonna repeat this over here. Okay, y'all, so I'm, I'm gonna do her edges last. She may look like she ain't got none. They there, they just very light. I'm using a little bit of this braid gel just to get it so it won't be so frizzy. It's okay if it's a little frizzy, because like I said, this is just gonna be a for a few. But I want it to be a little neat. And like I said, I'm only doing this one section and then I'm gonna do all the rest offline because it's a repetitive style or off camera. So you don't need to see the whole entire thing. So I'm just splitting this up into three sections and I'm using a little of this braid gel to make it a little stiff so it won't be so frizzy. Make sure to get the ends. And now that I think about it, I am gonna have to wash her hair again. I just would do like more of a co-wash than anything. I want to do three sections, three, three of these, so this one, I like to put them different places to grab, two, I might do four, depending on how long I want it, and four, I mean three, so that's the one I'm going to use, I'm going to put this one on her. And then the last section for just in case I want it. And I forgot. I'm doing this. I don't want them to be thick. So that should be good. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. I may only do three though. I don't want them too long. So Take your first piece and like, like this. This is how I learned how to braid it in. This might not be right, but works for me. So like this, see how it's in two? And then just braid it in. Okay. And then we're gonna do it again. Make sure this piece that doesn't have one is in the middle. Grab it again. Like this. 
I'm not even worried about if her hair is tucked. Like I said, this is gonna be in for a little bit. If you want, don't want the hair to show, make sure you tuck it, which is just putting this piece of hair underneath this hair. But I'm not worried about all that. Focus. Focus. Okay, let me see. I think I'm just gonna do three pieces. Yeah, three pieces should be enough. And then you just braid it. That's it. That's it. That's all. I'm gonna do one more and then um, I'm gonna do the rest off camera. But like I was telling y'all, her hair is showing here. If you don't want the hair to show, you have to tuck it, but I'm not worried about tucking it because that takes more time and this is not gonna be up that long. Like I said, I probably have to wash her hair again because I forgot I have to do this. I should just went with the two braids, but that's okay. We're gonna make it do. I probably will do her crochet till um her birthday's Friday and I'm waiting for the rest of her birthday stuff. My birthday's Friday. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, not this Friday, coming up the Friday after. Her birthday is next Friday, I should say, so she won't get too excited. And then um I wanna take her pictures before then, but if her stuff comes after her birthday, I'm gonna have to do her pictures after her birthday. Which is gonna suck. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know 